on Kunper City. This is the station. I'm with my friend. As you can see, the surround the four sides. This is the main station in Belgium. We are going down there is an exit see this is the inner view inside view of the station it's like a param pyramid And also you see the people also taking pictures and video. And this is the exit. A very beautiful station. Like a palace. I just came here because um, to buy another iPhone. The 256 GB variant of iPhone 14 Pro Max because I think 128 GB is a little bit less because uh, I shoot videos and vlogs so maybe 256 giga byte would be enough for me so I would give him and pay a little more 50 euro or maybe 100 take uh, 256 giga byte you can see the this is the station Antwerpen Central Station. This is how look. This is how it look outside from the outer view. It look like a palace. <laughs> mostly here is behind there is a park where Afghan all. Where mostly I see Afghan people sitting in on the bench. It's a very beautiful city, Antwerpen. You go and take a walk. You can see the beautiful uh, building. Mostly people come and visit to Brussels and Antwerpen cities. But if you don't want to tell me how, I guess I'll never know. But if you don't want to tell me how, I guess I'll never know. I'm heading. Uh, Towards there is one shop, Afghani shop, where where I bought the iPhone. So I will ask him to give me another the another phone with the 256 gigabytes space. So noisy because there is working going on. It's a metro. Just like the street lights lit this town Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this out We got this far, don't know how see the list you can choose anything and buy so I choose a chicken with uh, fries chips So I'm just taking a walk over there and later we'll go back to my home, Muskurun city.
I just go over there and take a good scene. Try my best to shoot some good shots in, uh, in this city. So let's go. Hope you enjoy the vlog. And if you have any question, you can write down in the comment sections about asylum seeking and Dublin and, and about working how to work in Belgium with the help of Orange Card or any question. So if I have any answer, then I would uh, help to. I'll help you giving that, providing you that information. I'm so tired after so much walking over there and now it's around 9 o'clock in the evening so I walked too much and I'm going now to the station just taking a little bit rest um, I will take my train tomorrow see the bars and the cafes Normally in the night time everybody comes and drink so much and then at the end of the night 2-3 o'clock there everyone is drunk. <laughs> this is the street where I came la last month as well and I shoot it also a vlog. This is I think the disco. This is there are lots of discos and cafes. See, all people just chilling, enjoying. I'm also about going to the station, and I will just take a rest there in the park. Tomorrow I will take a train to Muskurun City, and Saturday, Sunday I will take a rest. Tonight, today I just came for the phone, but to buy the. Another variant, 256 GB gigabyte, but the shopkeeper said you have to pay more 250 euro than, which is not fair price to pay. So better is this one, 128 gigabyte is also enough for me. Afghan people are too much now everywhere, in every place you see Afghan people. Mostly they have gotten citizenship and they are shifted to the different cities like Antwerp and Co, Ghent, uh, Brussels. If you get a citizenship then you then you are looking for a house to rent where you can live and pay. Um, if you are not working then the government will pay everything like uh, will government will pay you every month 13 1400 euro from which 600 500 will be your rent of house 
maybe 150 will be the electric bills and what you will just have a pocket money remained almost 400 400 euro then you use your pocket money you know if you don't have a citizenship is more this time is like a golden time you can work and you are not giving tax to government but when you have a citizenship in europe then you have to pay almost 23 percent tax to the so then your salary you know you will not have that much high salary yes there are of course lots of good jobs where you can earn more than two thousand three thousand euro uh, but the tax is also coming back to you at the end of the year so that is also oh, the worst thing is that for asylum seekers those who are getting negative from the offer and and then they have to leave the country or those people who are new and they apply for asylum and mostly they don't get a um, camp to live or a place to live because so many people have come and it's like camps are full completely full so mostly it take little more one month for the asylum seekers to have a shelter and the worst thing i am scared from from this day you can see the person sleeping here you know this guy is sleeping just at the corner of the wall i think he's an old man he fell asleep i think he's a bigger i think so I see in Paris and also in Belgium. Uh, I'm lucky that I have never been in this kind of situation where I don't have a house to live or place. I always had a luck and I'm thankful to God. But mostly people are homeless, uh, they don't have a camp to live, they just stay outside for one month. They sleep on the road. They wear a kind of a mattress where you just you can use everywhere and sleep. This is the worst things. You know, it's really hard. It's not like easy living in a camp, uh, living in Europe as an asylum seeker. And if you don't know that your future is here or not, whether you give a whether you get a citizenship or not. So most people just over uh, my my roommate and also lots of Afghan people also got rejected because of the depression. You just you know your hair falls your lots of problems comes to you. you become mentally unwell and this is the problem that every asylum seeker facing even me i'm waiting still waiting maybe i also don't know my asylum will be accepted or will reject it so it's not easy now it's uh, almost 12 o'clock in the night i'm here inside the station you can see See the people, those people who have missed their train, so they are also waiting here. Uh, I am also waiting for the train. It's uh, about 5, 5 o'clock in the morning, so I am sleeping here. See, this is a very nice place. See, this is the corner. It's very good for like a bench. I see all people sitting there. So today my night, my night is here. Uh, a night in an Anturpin station. So we'll wait for the train. And so it was for today, and see you soon again with another vlog. Subscribe, hit the like, and thank for watching.